safer6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. And we are live here on Thursday night, the day after Black Wednesday. It's Thursday, the 13th of June, 2013. And if anybody out there in video on demand land is wondering why Keith has a cloth on his head, it's because we've been told by people live in chat that the glare coming off the top of his head from the lights is dazzling them. That's what it is. <laughs> I think it looks quite... It's imposing, your, isn't it? Uh, it goes with the shirt. Well, it's oh, I never it. thought of yes. that. Yes. Y yes, very matching. Yes. Well, the, do you think the glare might have gone now? With I think possibly it possibly yes. has, yes. Oh, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it just in case just in people case are overpowered. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, we'd probably better do a show about these things, haven't we? Yes. Shall we call it the Here's Hour? If you yeah, want to, good. it's called the Here's Hour. Hour. Oh, that was that, that was really bad. That's because that you never counted were in. All right, it's called one, two, three. The, the Here's Hour. Hour. And I can't remember where the titles are now. <laughs> go we are live in the studio welcome to the here's hour with the three wise monkeys larry curly and more otherwise known as dave keith and daz and uh, we're going to be here and, and inform and entertain and i should tell you just before we went no i'll tell you when i do the piece i'll tell you when i do the piece but there's been all kinds of stuff happening we're going to try and make it as light as we can tonight because last night was enough for anybody i think um, although I've got to say, before we get into the the good stuff, we've got to kind of mention it. My sister-in-law rang at half past eight, and unusually, I answered the phone, um, which might have been a mistake. Anyway, I did, and as I answered the phone, she says, "Wasn't that good news last night?" Oh, this is a beggy pardon. <laughs> what good news last night? She said, "On the news about ASIGs." I says, "What do you mean?" She says, well, they're all going to be adopted by the MHRA. That was what she said. I says, are you mad, woman? It's the worst possible news we could have got. She'd watched the BBC, not Sky. And I'm seeing in chat, um, and I've already signed earlier on today because I saw it in Twitter this afternoon, there is a petition up there, and I'm sure the link to that will go in towards the end of the show, so you can all go and sign it. But please don't let that stop you from contacting your MPs and MEPs book visits to their surgeries and stuff like that because you hadn't picked all of this up either had you keith no i just got the tail end of something and uh probably on bbc news mm. and uh i thought that doesn't sound good although i didn't get the sort of meat <coughs> of it just the last couple of sentences so i thought ah what's happened here well, basically what's happened is that uh, the MHRA has decided that they are going to push for medicines regulation with this, this thing in Europe, fully expecting to get it through. And when they do, everything that you know and love, everything that you've got in your hand now or on the table, everything that we're used to using will be banned in 2016 if they get their own way. It'll all go because nothing, apparently, according to Jeremy Mean, is good enough. So there you go. We need, we've got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work to do and we need to do it. But let's, let's park that for the rest of tonight and let's do nice things, let's do pleasant things and let's first off say a very happy birthday, 17th birthday, to Michaela. If you're there, Michaela, 
A very happy 17th to you. And I hope your dad treats you to every iPad under the sun. And a little bird tells me he'll be treating you to a holiday in Barbados with your boyfriend. All on him. There you go. That's nice, isn't it? It is nice. That's Daz. It's safe. He's a good lad, Daz. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, now, also, just before we came on the show, um, let me go to Closey Up He Cam. And I've, I've moved Closey Up He Cam so you'll be able to see quite nicely tonight. I was going to be looking at this device here. And there it is. Uh, this is the UDT V8. It says it there. The UDT V8. I was going to be looking at it. And I've got to tell you that I'd actually got a little bit of an issue with it. And I was seeing a voltage drop under load. Um, and just before we went on the show, I got a message from Daz at Safer Seeks to say it pulled them because of this voltage drop. Um, and he'd found it as well. That wasn't me telling him. He'd found the voltage drop and he's pulled them for the moment until they can get them sorted out so that there's no voltage drop. Now, you may recall that I said last night, I would trust Daz with me life and that's why. That's what a proper vendor does. He's found a problem and he's pulled the kit. The only real problem is that was the first half of the <laughs> show night. But never mind, we'll press on and I'm going to keep on using this one. I've got a kick in it so it copes quite well um, and it's not doing too badly. But yes, that, that voltage drop is there. So anybody that was going to be using it unkicked or anything like that would find that problem. Kudos to Daz. I've got to say that. He's a good lad. But I am going to be looking at something else that he's done. Before we do that though, Keith, you, uh, <laughs> you've had a visit to our general practitioner, have you not? Yes, of course, the same one as you, uh, occasionally. Occasionally? Years. 20 years since <coughs> I was there. Oh, well, uh, a lot's changed since then. Do tell. Right, now I've been smoking since I was 15. And I went to the doctors on a routine matter on Monday. I was on Monday or Tuesday. And for the first time ever, a GP asked me the question... Do you smoke, Keith? Did he? And I thought, well, and I told him. I said, well, no doctor. And I said, you might be surprised if that ever asked me that question when, when I've, I've gone to the doctors. Uh, I said, well, thinking, you know, I said, proudly said, well, I smoke e-cigarettes. He said, oh, well, they're not proven at all. You know, he said, I've read quite a bit about e-cigarettes and uh, they're almost as dangerous as conventional ones. You are kidding me, he didn't say that. Something to that effect. Seriously? Um, something oh, to that effect. Bloody numpty. Uh, I mean, I haven't, probably haven't got the words exact, but uh, the inference was uh, that I picked up that, you know, these are also dangerous. Um, so, you go in for your five-minute slot. I thought, well, I'm not going to get into a debate uh, in here with you about that. And then, of course, he said he had a practice nurse who was an expert and had a, uh, a very good record on smoking cessation. It wasn't nurse, that wasn't that nurse Carney, was it? No, that wasn't the name. No, because she smacked me ass the day I was born, so she <laughs> oh, well, tell so you retired now. Oh, just a bit. Uh, <laughs> So I, I, I thanked him for his help and, uh, <laughs> and, and trotted off. It's, it's funny, actually. But, some, some, somebody's just uh, somebody just said in chat, and it's true enough, there's been a survey done, and apparently the majority of GPs, well, not quite the majority, but a hell of a lot, an awful lot more than there ought to be, think that nicotine is carcinogenic. Oh, well, that, that didn't... Come. That's worrying. He, he, he did say he'd smoked himself, which, I mean, oh, re relatively young man. Did you not offer to give him an e uh, uh, I didn't, no. Ye, no. tight bugger. Uh, <laughs> yes, he'd smoked... I said, well, how long ago is it since you stopped? He said, about seven years. Um, did he do it cold too? a guy, him? probably, well, mid to late 30s. Probably smoked when he was at college or something like that. I, uh, I bet he was smoking the ganja. Mm. And yet know. I remember the day when I was a when I was a lad, when you went to the doctors and you knocked at the door of his surgery, 
and you couldn't see the man sitting at his desk for the smoke. That was when films were sapient, never mind black well, and white. Well, I'm, I'm probably going back to the 60s. Well, I mean, but, I, can uh, go, I can go back to the 60s. I mean, it, it used to go and see Dr. Buick and Dr. Kelly. Oh, I remember Dr. Buick. Dr. Yes. Buick and Dr. Kelly. Do Dr. Buick was, uh, he was the funny bloke that had the, the, the five-strand comb over, but from the middle. It, it was like a horseshoe of baldness right the way around. And he had this five-strand comb over just, just up there. And he used to comb that over. It looked really daft. It was just this little bit, this little, little tuft at the front that he combed Lived anyway. Lived on Bottle Bank? Aye, uh -huh, that's where they had the surgery. Ah, oh, well, I once went to him with toothache. He wasn't yeah, a dentist. No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I used to go in there and Buick would be sitting with a caps in full strength and Kelly had a pipe on. Yes. And when you went in, it was, now then, David, what would appear to be the matter with you at this point in time? And you would say, well, my mum's brought us up because I've got measles. And he'd have a look and say, so you have. <laughs> but I mean, today it's hard to believe that a doctor would be sitting in his surgery with a cigarette or a pipe in his mm. hand. I'd it? love to walk in and say, what, with a decent AC gun, a Jenny. That would be brilliant. That would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? So there you are. I mean, I thought I would have got a pat on the back. Good lad, you're on the e-cigarettes. Mm. They're much safer. You would think so, wouldn't you? But I got none of that. Well, that's because these <coughs> doctors are listening to that prat Jeremy Mean down at the MHRA coming out with all these lies and innuendo. And, and this, do you know what's really annoyed is that I, I started reading through all the stuff again today. And you know some of the research that they're relying on for doing all of this has come from BAT. Tobacco companies have provided research that the MHRA is relying on, but the World Health Organization says that outfits like the MHRA should have no contact whatever with tobacco companies. Mm. Can you believe it? They'll just do what the hell they like to get where they want. Anyway, let's 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 not talk about that. Um I suppose, really, I know you weren't here last... What, what took your fancy out of what we were looking at last week, Does Say the dripper with the air control. The dripper with the air control? Oh, I'm pleased you mentioned that, Daz. <laughs> <laughs> was, was this after you'd got over the shirt, shock? That shirt <sighs> saved my life. My shirt? Yes, if you remember, when we were doing green screen, yes. second appearance... Came in a blue shirt. I had to wear that shirt over the blue shirt, otherwise I was completely invisible from the neck down. So you've worn it? Yeah, I've worn that shirt. Daz has oh, worn that shirt. I've worn that shirt. He <laughs> was that soldier. So this is that's, the that's, that's it. This is the, the one with the good or the... That's the good one. The good one. With the airflow control. Mmm. Mmm. Very good that airflow control. control is, is that brilliant. Is and considering that's a tiny amount as well. Oh, go tighter than that. You can make it so tight that cat wouldn't be able to draw it. But even <laughs> even that, because look at how clo closed it is. Yes. It's only a tiny amount open. That's really... Im that's really impressive. You need to drip on that again. Do I? Yeah. I'll drip on it. Before I drip on it, I'll, I'll show the hardy ends because we now have super close uppy cam. This is going to be fun. Super close. Super close uppy cam. I shall cut the super close uppy cam so it's there. So there's the hole. And if I get it right in the middle of the screen, I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see. Oh, no, that's impressive. Super yeah. close oh, uppy that's... cam. That's how super that's it is. Oh my God. And this, I, you can see how big that hole is. Now there's two tiny. of them. Tiny. Tiny little weeny thing. You can also see the quality of the build. So there's the two holes and this, oop, this here, that, I'm sorry, look at that nail, it's shocking. This, this is what you turn to make the difference. And oh Lord, I'll have to zoom out. Otherwise I'm going to get my knickers in a right twist here. I'm working in about an inch and a quarter. Right. So you just turn it slip your fingers again there we go and you can go from as open as uh, as open as that mm. let's zoom in on that again if we can get in the right place david 
it'll go even opener than that. You want to have a pop at that one, Daz? Yeah. There so you go, sunshine. Have a blast at that. See what you think. You can lung in here like no bother. Oh, yeah. The one dripping on? No, it doesn't. I thought it did on the before when it was clo more closed up, but there. It might need a bit more, but it's that was fine. well. I'll I'll put some on anyway, yeah. just just out of daftness. Um, this is so off the cuff; it's unbelievable. Yeah, anyway, I put half a dozen drops in. That should do it. <coughs> and uh, yeah, you can lung inhale this. Just breathe it in. <laughs> like like savoury. God, savoury please. <laughs> Would have helped the fun. Oh yeah, press the button. That was not kicking it. Yeah. We'll be able to hear the yeah, sizzle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's only eighteen milligrams, so you can uh, you can give it a lung in here. Thank you, Steve. Just yeah. breathe it in. That's really nice, that. I'll give it another one. Lung inhale, here we go. I'll do it onto my camera. I'm just messing about tonight because I can't. Lung inhale, you'll hear it. There's the sizzle. God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see, I get a lot of it. I better do that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that one again. That's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that it's crazy? crazy funny it's beginning to disappear when it reaches your face. <coughs> Do you think it's trying to tell you something? Well, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't would yeah. say that. that. Seriously, I mean, if, if I, I've not been a great one for, for lung inhales because I've never had anything I could do it with, but that you can just suck it straight. Do you want to try, Keith? Again, yes. <laughs> lung inhale, just lung breathe inhale. in through it. Give it a good press. Oh, mine's not as effective as yours. Oh, I've, got, lungs, I've, got, I've got big lungs. Big lungs. Big lungs. Go on, have another go. Just like you're breathing. Yes. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes. Lovely. Oh, dear. So, because you don't normally... I know you don't normally do dripping. No. Has that changed your perception now? Um, something like mm. that. It has a little bit. I've got to be honest. Um, mm. And I've 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 discovered I can get away with that quite nicely. Mm -hmm. I think I've been fortunate in the way I've made the coil. Mm -hmm. But then I've wrapped silicon coils before. Um, but it, it 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 seems quite forgiving of how much juice you can throw yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, six drops onto that. I mean, six drops in a normal drip anatomizer, and you're screwed. Aren't yeah, you? I mean, yeah. It's effortless. That is completely. It is. The the thing is, the 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 real downside to it, I think for me, I was out with Jill, and I took it with us, mm -hmm. and I had a little bottle of juice, and uh, I'd opened it right up, as you know, as you do, and you can't help it when you've got it that airy. Mm. You start, and it's so easy to get it going yeah. but you just end up starting a draw mm -hmm. and then lunging it yeah doing a lung inhale so i did and she said people will be watching <laughs> people will be watching actually if I, I should have gone to camera two for that and I'll wait you two out. So but where I'll... were you then when you were uh, taking these long draws? Might have been having a cup of coffee somewhere. Are you taking that to the knees, mate? I am taking it to the knees, mate, yes. Oh, well, you'll know where to find Dave then. Just look <laughs> for the big pool of vapour around. 
<laughs> you know, I'll tell you what I was going to ask you. Something I thought of, particularly bearing in mind I'm going on holiday. Most rooms in hotels now are fitted with smoke alarms. Yes. Would the vapour set the smoke alarm off in the same way as conventional cigarette smoke? Or? Holiday season, so we'll probably need to cover this because a lot of people will be wanting to know there are two kinds of smoke alarms. Right? Right. One is a particulate detector, and I know I'm going to get people coming into chat to correct me here, but one's a particulate detector, and another one is a gas and heat detector. If it's a gas and heat detector, you're fine. Right. Right? Because they're the kind that get used in theatres where they <coughs> use haze machines and smoke machines, or what everybody calls a smoke machine which is, in fact, exactly the same kind of stuff that we use in ACs. But if it's a, a particulate detector, what this vapour that we put out is, is tiny little wee droplets. Droplets? Droplets. Droplets. Yeah. Yes, that's... Droplets, yes. Droplets. It's <coughs> tiny little wee droplets. And those tiny little wee droplets interfere because they use light in these, in these smoke detectors. Right. And the tiny little droplets look like particulates. They look like tiny little wee bits of soot. 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 <laughs> soot. I've got one of a nick <laughs> <laughs> They look like tiny little bits of soot. <clears throat> soot. Soot. To the, to the detector and it'll set one of those off. So you need to find out what kind it is. There is always, of course, the third way. Stealth? No. London Rubber Company. Right. Or Trojan. Right. I will pick it up on one yeah. I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. Right. It's been that long since I've needed to use a prophylactic. <laughs> right. That's a Johnny to anybody watching. Um, a male, a condom, basically. Yeah. They're so stretchy, you can stretch them over the smoke detectors by standing carefully on a chair, always assuming, of course, that you have a working at height certificate because anything over six inches. You need to work in your tight to that, eh? Yes. I used to carry condoms around with us all the time <coughs> when I was working small venues. And, and when I, I mean, I've not needed anything like that for a long, long time by virtue of the snip vasectomy. Too much information? <laughs> Had to happen. Um, uh, but I also used to carry one around with us because we'd get to places where there were smoke alarms and in the pubs we'd get, uh, son, you can't use that smoke in here because it'll set the smoke alarms off. You see that? It's all right. Worry ye not. Take out the little foil packet. Tear it. Get it out. Blow it up. Stick it over the detector. It detects nothing then. Mm. And, uh, well, in the past, I've just gone <laughs> to the balcony. <laughs> Onto the way. <laughs> to me the simplest. Uh, sim <laughs> to the balcony. In the, in the, balcony. the, in the hotel room. Uh, you know, the balcony. Uh, or the veranda or whatever you want to call it. No, if it's a balcony, it must be veranda. You haven't been talking, and this is uh, Wilmington, Smythe, Minge, Pew, Critchley and her lovely daughter, Virginia, have you? I haven't had that pleasure. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the but reason I'm sensitive She's to, a lovely woman. The reason I'm sensitive to that, a few years ago, my brother-in-law, who's a smoker, uh, had a sly fag in the bedroom. The alarm went off and the bloody 400 <laughs> bedrooms evacuated everybody outside <coughs> oh, in their night clothes. Oh, oh dearie me, that's um, never good, is it? Fortunately, he wasn't identified. Well, it's probably just as well. Mm. We, uh, we may need to go to some adverts. Uh, uh, yes, it's that time. We'll go to the ad when we get back from the adverts, which camera am I talking to? That one. When we get back from the adverts, we'll have a look at the Model 61, which if you look at it upside down, is a Model 19. It'll all be good, and I might read so much what Chris says, taking the condom off before you leave is always a good idea anyway. This is very true. You should always, all, <laughs> it wasn't the, Pie Ball said what kind, or Pie Boy, Pie Boy said what kind of look did you get when you pulled that out, Dave? It wasn't when I pulled it out, it was when Jill found it in the wallet and wanted to know what it was doing there. Adverts, back in a couple of ticks. Safer6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour
the sponsors of the Hayes Hour. And we are back in the room. And during the course of the adverts, a question was posed in chat whether the cyclone, which is this cracking piece of kit I've been using, we've been messing with tonight, uh, will it work as a bottom feeder? No, it won't. Um, there is, I'll take it, to, take it off the device and show you that it's actually, it's fully adjustable um, at the bottom. Uh, do we mean we're mega close up again? There's the bottom of it, as you can patently see, covered in juice. I'll give it a wipe. You don't want to see I kind of drip. I'm not kidding. I make such a mess. Right, there's the bottom of it. And that's where the air goes in. So there's no way for juice to get up there. It won't happen. Uh, in fact, if I can, well, this is going to be clever as well. I shall use the top of this device here and just pull the top off and as you can see there is no air hole mm. whoops there's no air hole up the center none at all so no you couldn't use it as a bottom feeder um, which might be a shame for some people um, but no you can't use it as a bottom feeder uh, but it quite honestly if, if you're gonna drip if you're a dripper I would have thought it was right up your street um, the cyclone being the uh, the piece on its Todd and the Cyclops, which the Cyclops only had one eye, didn't it? Yes. This has got two eyes, hasn't it, really? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the Cyclops is the uh, the air control piece. Both are available from eSigs with a Z.co.uk, Cam's uh, outfit. And uh, I think he's got them in stock now. And yes, I like it. It's nice and shiny. It actually matches this as well. Yeah. Which yeah, is uh, which is good. good. Shall we have a look at the? Uh, oh yeah. Now, Chris, Cat came on during the adverts and said she's she uh, she's brilliant at this kind of thing. She's so quick. She's reading chat and and everything the chat was saying was leading her to believe that it might be a good idea if a consumer organisation for electronic cigarettes, for instance, came up with some kind of little leaflet, little F5 folded leaflet or something like you would get from a Chinese restaurant <coughs> that had the facts about e-cigs as we see them that we could give to doctors and say, yes, we know the BMA wants shot of them, but this is what Jean-Francois Ette has to say and tell them that nicotine is not carcinogenic and all of that kind of stuff. That would be a damned good idea, I think. That would be good. Now I'm, I'm hearing from Scott Davidson in ch this is chat's doing really well tonight. Mm -hmm. Scott Davidson in chat is saying they do two versions of the site loan and one is a bottom feeder. So that'll be interesting as well. I don't yeah. get my hands on one of those. Although I'm not a squonker. Mm. Are you a squonker, Daz? No, I'm not. Not a squonker. Not. Tried one, but no. Are you a squonker? No. No? Never no. squonked? No. No, it's not uh, not something I've done a great deal of. But there you go. Oh, Ig, 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 Ig Ed, Thomas Beer is saying that Ig Ed has made many flyers. So perhaps, you know, uh, Ecker ought to be doing something mm. like that. That might not be a bad idea. It, it needs some kind of support, some monetary support, but uh, it's not a bad idea. Right, let's, let's motor on and let's get on to this Mod 19, the Sigeli. Uh, no, it isn't. It's a Smock, Smock Tech right. Mod 19. I shall zoom out on closing up my cam so that I'm not too close. And it basically comes in three parts. I'm full of hiccups tonight. I do apologise. Right there, it is in its in its constituent bits. And when it goes together, it goes together in one of two ways. Really, you can either put it in short mode, which will take an 18350 for those of you that like a nice small one. And as you will be able to see. That is very, very easily palmable. Mm. Very easy. I've only got small hands. That's why I've always done well with the ladies. 18350 <laughs> mode or <coughs> with the other tube that comes with it, you've got 18650 mode. Now, when I screw this together into 18650 mode without a battery on, he said, not realising he'd gone off camera, 
and my fingers have all gone slippy again, there we go. You might think that that looks remarkably like another device. And that other device would be the Atom. Mm. You seen the Atom, Dad? Yes. Looks an awful lot like the Atom, but yes. these rings mm. don't appear to be separable. Yeah. However, this has got some nice touches to it. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, take the base off. And you will see that that looks remarkably familiar. It's a small spring. Nice hot yeah. spring. Mm. Lovely little hot spring yeah. in there with uh, as many air holes as you would possibly want for venting purposes. And obviously because it's um, a mechanical mod, you can put your battery in the other way up so the vents are down by that. Mm -hmm. The switch, and I, I'm going to try and zoom in on this so that you can see if I can get the angle right. This will be mega close you up you come again. There we go. Now, at that magnification, you will be able to see, and I'm going to, I'm shaking like a leaf, that that is copper. Yeah, mm. it is. That is a copper switch. And a copper switch is going to make much, much better connection. Yeah. And indeed it does. Let's uh, zoom it out a little bit while I go to the next bit that I want everybody to see because I really like this idea if i hold it that way up you can see that there's a screw mm. for the center post and if i put my little screwdriver in i usually use my thumbnail for this i'll put my screwdriver in it unscrews mm -hmm. all right so i'm just going to unscrew it a fair way and then take an rsst which coincidentally also comes from smock and screw that in as far as it'll go Come on, I'm all fingers and thumbs tonight. Right, so I'm screwing it in, screwing it in, screwing it in. I'm trying to get the angle right so you can see how far down it goes. And you can see that that's contacting right to the top. Yes. At which point in time, you turn it upside down. You put your, oh God, I can't, I can't see what I'm doing here. Right, there we go. Put your screw in and just turn it. I, like I said, I'll use my thumbnail, it's easier. You just turn it until you feel it stop and that is as tight as it will go that's as mm. close as you'll right. get it so it's adjustable the mm. center pole is adjustable to cope with any device you care to throw at i'll stick an 18650 in screwed back on like so um, and just show that at the bottom end when i put the cap back on like so da 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 you've got this yeah i was just about mechanism. to notice because I, I, I was just about to see i noticed the threads on the inside yep you can press that as much as you like mm. and it ain't gonna fire and it'll only fire when you screw that knurled screw right down it's beautifully engineered it's Absolutely. not a bad looking piece of kit at all is it beautifully engineered um, it's like it, it's I, I like it because simplicity yes Yes, well, mm. it would have to be Do for me. Do you confirm that this is the Segelli and not the Smock? Ah, uh, can I confirm it's the Segelli and not the Smock? It is the... Good Lord, I need to find the box. Do you know my head? Yes, it's Segelli. I do apologise. The RSST is also Segelli. It's the, the Segelli Model 1961. I keep getting it the wrong way up. I'm, I'm not having a good night of it tonight. I'm not. Um... It's a Gelly Model 19 from Safer Sigs. You'll see it on the Safer Sigs site. It's 35 quid. Right. And it's cracking. And it matches up with that RSST really nicely. <coughs> I feel such a fool tonight. I'm right off my game. So, you know, the, the, you quite often have this issue with um, non steel rope wicks in Genesis is where you need the wick at the bottom mm -hmm. so you get that little bit of tilt mm -hmm. and you can set it and then screw that adjustable pole piece up and it just stays there yeah nice it is isn't it mm. it's very comfortable in the yeah. hand I uh, I'm really quite keen on that it's it's chunky enough to be a handful but it's not massive what have you got in it RY6 oh. 36 milligram the handsome one no 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 Mm. Nice. 
Very nice. It is, isn't it? It's a nice little get up, is that? I like the blue. I do. Yeah, but it's blue for a boy. Yeah. Or pink for a boy. I don't care. <laughs> I should probably have put a blue drip to You should on have it. done. Yeah, should probably have should have done. Yes, a matching guy. Yeah, yes. I never thought I would see you going into matching stuff. Why not? Then? Well, I just didn't. <laughs> what do you make of that one, Daz? Mm. Comfortable, isn't it? And those two very rings make it quite easily. Quite yeah, easy. Yeah, very comfortable. I love the button on that. I absolutely love the button's very um, prominent. It's it's easy to find. Mm. Um, I know you. Yes, yeah, I still still have problems with You like good with button, it. don't you, Keith? Well, yeah. It it it's not. It's not obvious. No. It's the wrong way I up. Mean, <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what you know. It, it, you it, still can't find it. Not easily. No, uh, you, 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 your finger doesn't go automatically to it. Vicky was telling us. Uh, well, I think uh, we need a five-minute button test slot in the shows. No, for Keith. No, all all it needs is some sort of. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Knurling. Yes. Yes. Need some knurling. So anyway, yes, coming back to where we were, as 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 you have to do, um Sigeli model sixty one or nineteen if you read it upside down. Mm -hmm. Um Sigeli model sixty one, thirty five quid I think from uh, safersigs.co.uk. I rather like it. Its functionality is good. And I'm not seeing any voltage drops on that one. What are we getting? The blue rings do come off. They do? And he's got other colours for them. Yes, but he is saying the pressed ones are a bugger to remove. Ah. All right, okay, okay, fair enough. I haven't been able to get them off and I didn't want to shove any brute force and ignorance into it. But seeing as how Daz says they come off, let's have some brute force and ignorance, shall we? Yes. And see if we can get them off. All oh, right. Yes. My, my, I do apologise, Daz. My brain's gone to custard <laughs> over the last couple of days. Right, here we go. Because I'm just slightly too strong for light work. Ooh, that hurt my finger. Use that one because it won't slide as much. All right. I'll use that but, one because well, it won't slide. It's a slide. towel. This towel is, isn't it's a towel. It's a towel. 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 Yes, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Towel. Towel. It's a towel. 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 Brute force, Dave, and lots of it. He says on it. I don't want to scratch it. Don't want to. You know, you've got a towel. Oh, it does. You're a strong lad. Have a go at it. It'll be amazing if I do it. Here we go. It's, it's the brute force of the Dazmeister. Do they just pull off, Lee? Like? Pardon? Do they just pull off? Well, apparently with brute force. Use a stunt, he says, Gary Wood. Yeah. The replaceable ones do come off easy. Um, he said, well, I, I kind of get that one off. I can feel that it turns, but it won't come off. I'll try this one while you try that one. Tell you what. Try your towel, your towel We'll go to the adverts and see if we can get them off during the course of the adverts. We'll be back in uh, in two shakes of a dog's tail. Is that the phrase? Something like that. Back in a couple of ticks.
6. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we are back live in the studio with... I've done it! Look at this. <laughs> Get that out the way. And there we have the rings separated off. Look at that. Hey, They've come off. We've managed it. And yes, I had to use a pair of Plygen filters, exactly as Daz said I would need to do, but they're off and without causing too much in the way of damage. And they are, as you'll be able to see, it's just an, an annular ring that fits back on. So I suppose I'll try How and... easily will they go back on? Oh, that's no bother at all. That's, that's no bother at all. If I put the top one on, once they're off, they, they, seem, to, they seem to have some kind of little piece of, uh, some kind of sticky. To stick them on but once they're once they're off they go back on and on and off easily enough They're much better i don't i haven't damaged the threads i thought i might have done but i haven't so they are oh, i wonder what it'll look like without the rings yeah that's what i was just thinking yeah. there we go yeah you, you're left with a groove yeah. if you don't have the rings on ring. but actually you know what that's not a bad look even by itself is it bottom one screws right up it's possibly the battery oh no hang on there we go yeah there's a little gap at the top but not so much of a gap on the bottom but one. the yeah. rings set it off oh the rings they? make a hell of a difference oh, i'd love to know what colors does has got yeah see if it's does do type in tell me what color you've got because i want to know i quite like gold. the idea of a pink gold one would be good gold. looks nice without i mean you can you can swing both ways can't you yeah. yeah. See how it does. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't blame this. Hey, yes, God. gold, Mark Shaw. Gold would, uh, I think gold would look good. Already. Gold against uh, stainless? Yeah. You think? Well, yeah. Just, uh, well, yeah, maybe what Wibbit up just said, a brass. A brass might look better. Red, green, yellow, gold, blue, and chrome. Well, it got gold, so gold must look. Well, go, pro pro good. probably a, a, a sort of dull gold, if you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. Like an anodized gold. Yes. Mm. That sort of thing. Yes. I've gone and screwed this in too tight now. Oh dear. I've gone past the thread. Damn. Oh, that's it. Got it. Right. I'll have my little blue ones. I'll have my blue ones back on. Because uh, Daz is coming up the knees, mate, you know. Oh. Is he coming? Yeah, good on you, Daz. Come, He's coming to the knees, mate. Which is what we said for Keith. I know. Uh, Keith's away. Keith's away. Did, have about you heard that. about the knees, mate? Uh, yes. Did you know it was on? Yes. Do you know when it's on? Uh, the 20 something of June. Do you know where mate? it's at? Pardon? Do you know where it's at? Shields? Yeah, do it you is? know where, though? Because um, the venue's been moved to a bigger and better venue. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. It's huge. It's massive. It's ginormous. There's room for half a million people on the lawn. Where? I'll show you. And as we come back from that little advert for the knees meet, there was a question in chat, 
what was it that Dave K was making? That was it. DY4. I've been, I've been dying to try this. Have you not tried no, it? No. Oh, it does. No. Biscuity goodness. Well, you had it earlier on. Is that what DY4 was? Yeah. Biscuity goodness. Biscuity goodness. Which That's what was in one? the dripper. Was it? Yeah. Do you want some more? Yeah. I'll give you some more. I'm good that way. That's really right. nice, sir. Drippity drip drip drip. Drippity drop drop drop. Decadent and Vapors DY4. Actually, they're gonna. I think they'll probably end up calling it DK4. Yeah. The amount he goes through because he loves it. Long inhale, son. Have fun. Gun for it. Hell. Oh, no, no. Biscuity. Look at this. Does produce in vapor. That was lovely. Have you not tried it? No. Was it one of those we tried earlier? That's the DY4. That's what I've been using in there. All right. That's lovely, that. That is Oops. really nice. It might be a bit hot. You're pulling at the bits. It came out. I <laughs> see that everybody. <laughs> I might have no one. You might need to put your towel on again. <laughs> Tell you what, man, honestly, seriously. <laughs> I overheard Keith and Vicky in the garden the other day, you know. Yeah. A pair of them were out sitting out in their, lo in their lounges, the sun lounges, the sun was out and baking down. And he, he, he turns to Vicky and he says, he says, it's nice out today, isn't it? And Vicky says, yeah, you want to put it away? Dave's looking out the bedroom window. <laughs> oh, God. God, oh. Hey, dear. It's a queer place we live in around here, I'm telling you. You've got no idea. Ah, yes. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Yeah, that yeah, is very, it's very nice. Biscuity goodness. Biscuity goodness. Yes. Biscuity goodness. Mm. It is. It's nice. Very nice. Yes, nearly as nice as Wiss Anders, custard, Wiss Anders says, what's the exhale taste like? It's... You, you definitely, feel, you, even for 80 milligram, you know, like, you can feel like the neck. But it's more biscuity. That's that's the way like the mm. the taste I get. It's sweet on the inhale. <coughs> that's that's you yes. pick up like the yes. sweetness on the inhale, but like the the like a digestive biscuit. That's that's yes. how I would put digestive. it. Digestive, like a that's, digestive yes. biscuit texture. So imagine like if you've if just like before you've had a cuppa. Yeah. Ah, and yes. you take a bite of a digestive biscuit, it's kind of like that, the, the pre before you've drank your coffee or something with it. Yes, digestive, that, yes. That's, the, that's the biscuit flavour. Yeah, absolutely. So that, that's what it is? Well, I'll, 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 I'll give it a blast. And... It's... Now, that's funny because on the inhale, I'm getting the, 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 the biscuits that you're talking mm, yes. about, the, the digestives. But on the exhale, I'm going to do an Andy Sutton. There's a nuttiness, nuttiness. about... <laughs> See, I've got no nutty from it. But I, I, I got, didn't either. I've got sweetness, definitely sweetness on the inhale. There's definitely... It's not... Yeah. It's, it's a... It's a macadamia nut. Yeah. But not a lot. Like right. a hint. A hint. A, 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 a tad. Yes. A smidgen. Mm. Oh, like a macadamia nut cookie. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. With just a touch of cream. There's a creaminess. And apparently, according to Sam Munro, did you know that digestives yes. were originally... Originally... Marketed to cure air biscuits. Now Dave said to try yeah. it, it tastes like a macadamia nut cookie. That is exactly what it tastes like. Straight away, as soon as you said it, that's what what the air uh, the flavour was that I got. See, I didn't get like a sweet custard at all. Um, not even a custardy resemblance, anything like that. Oh, there's no custard to no. it. No. It's a macadamia nut cookie. Macadamia nut <coughs> cookie, yeah. I Just can't like it sense it. Did you not taste the macadamia on the inhale? No. On the, on the flat? See, that's no, what I tasted. Uh, no. I mean, the the the, the di digestive biscuit is is uh, is quite dominant. Mm. I mean, when you mentioned digestive, I thought that's it. That's the kind of biscuit. See, I thought at first, but no, I would I would agree with uh, Dave. Macadamia nut cookie. 
Well, it's I'd very, very it. pleasant. Yeah, ab- oh, da- absolutely. Mm-hmm. No, no two ways about it. Tastes very, don't they? Well, yes, indeed. Yes. Tastes well, you said my apple caramel tasted like a bonfire two weeks ago, so... <laughs> a bonfire? <laughs> Is that what I said? You did. I forget nothing, me. Okay. <laughs> no, you mustn't, then. I don't remember that. That was just what happened in New Cairo, which is the same right. Kyle, by the way. Oh, right. Mm. Mm. Yes. That's lovely. When you get it, it in... It is. It's very, very nice. When you get it in a good lung It full, is nice. I cannot stop lung inhaling this thing. Now. Yeah. It is nice. It's like, it's like a habit when you do it, though, it's isn't diff- it? You, you diff- can't help it. It's shocking. Yeah. I cannot help myself. Yeah. I'm just going completely mad with it now. <laughs> It's disgusting. <laughs> Honestly, it's shocking. It is. Whip it up sixty nine. Has just asked what an air biscuit is. Do you know what an air biscuit is? I know is? what an air biscuit is. No. It's a bottom burp. It's wind. Windy pops. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. It's one of them. I'm ne- right. And Mac- and McVitie's digestives were originally designed, according to Sam Munro, to help cure the bottom burp. Apparently they had a bonnet of bitter bonnet of soda in. That's why they were called well, that, that, I was just going to say, that's where the name will have come now from. Now there's a it? funny, do you, do you reckon DY4 would stop bottom burps? Possibly. I'm here to tell you it won't. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, well you should know how long you'd be using it now. Oh, well, it's, it's doing better than the menthol, let's put it that way. <laughs> Me. I don't know. Haven't found anything yet to match the vanilla custard. That's You're still the old that? caramel now after the after the coil. Oh right. After two weeks. Shouldn't get a bonfire taste now. I don't know. No bonfire taste. Coils prop is that the one you did live? Mm. There you go. Still same. Still same. Is it clean? I do it every day. You no, do, do you? No bonfire taste now. No. Don't give him it back, Keith. Don't give him it, do not give him it back <laughs> because it's gonna get it's gonna get close up he calmed. We're gonna have a look at the coil after two weeks and see whether he has I been burned it up. Or. I burned it off. But you see, it's got what I've noticed is when you put ethyl malt oil in, mm-hmm. it doesn't half cut up the coil very quickly. It sounds like an excuse to me. It's not an excuse. <laughs> Every day it's I burn an excuse. that coil off. Let's have a look at that coil. There's Daz's coil. Let's get it in closer up he can so everybody can see it. Let's zoom right into it. Into the Daz coil. Get it where everybody can see that. This close up camera makes a hell of a difference. There it is. That's not bad. That's just I did burn it off this morning. That's his coil. It's matured. That's is that matured. the word? It's that funny is cause so with the, close up. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, because when it's funny because with the ethyl malt oil in it, when I take the wick out and I press it, I have a little bonfire. All right. You get a little yeah, flame on. I get on. a little flame on. Oh, a little yes. flame on. It's, it's nice when you get yes. the flame on. It, uh, warms, it keeps nice to keep you warm in the winter. Warms the heart of your cup. Yes. <laughs> uh, Vapor Man has asked, did I get my stainless steel wire rope? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm hanging on to the knees, mate, because... And I'm going to need expert tuition in the ways of the wire rope. I, yes. have, so I have some stuff. I've discovered I actually have some wire rope here mm-hmm. that's used for picture hanging. But I've got no idea what quality it is or anything like that. So I'm going to go uh, to the knees, mate, where I understand there's going to be a fair amount of it flitting about. If you've not seen the forum, we've got the pictures of the forum. There's reams of it. Now, Gary reams Wood's saying, do, are you using PG or VG in there? There's, uh, it's VG based Nick with PG, but it's mainly PG. Mainly PG. Yeah. Because he's saying that PG gloops your coil up a lot more than VG. That's interesting. Uh. I always thought it would have been VG that would have done that. Well, how how gloopy does that get during the course of the day? Not really that gloopy. And you can you can burn it off easily yeah. enough and get the get the yeah. wick out. I, t- I I've got VG, but I tend to use PG more than what I use VG when mixing. Purely because when I fill it with the um, syringe, the syringe can't take it if it's... Yeah, VG you're quite heavy. a mixing expert now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I, mean, that one I really enjoy it. Uh, well, there's, there's a question coming for you, Daz. What's it says that? there, have you ever tried Snickers juice? No, I haven't. And he said, remembering to put the S on the front. 
Snickers Snickers. I would Snickers. be I would be interested to try it. Snickers, isn't that what they used to call uh, topic? Marathons. Oh, Marathon. Mm. Uh, oh, Marathon. Oh. Oh, those right. What Mars, was in a what was Mars, in a marathon? Uh, Mars bar with peanuts in. Is that right? Because mm -hmm. I knew about topic. Yeah. What's got a hazelnut in every bite? Yes. Squirrel shit. Uh, topic. <laughs> 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 Snickers juice, Snickers juice. Yeah. Now Gary's saying that his wife uses, Gary Wood that is, uses 100% PG, he uses 50-50. Her coil's glooped up every other day, while his is okay for nigh on a week. Well this one, if, if there was no ethyl maltol in, it wouldn't be like that every day, but it's definitely because of the ethyl maltol, well, not because me, I think it's to do with you, the crystals. Not, not me in chat is agreeing with you, because he thinks clogging coils has much to do with flavourings. Yeah, I agree. And I would go along with that. The ethyl maltol that I put in was was crystallised, which I have dissolved myself. Uh-huh. And it must turn, or you must still have a crystal residue in, which is what's left on the coil. Vapor caper. Yeah. There he's on a boat Snickers, smooth on the inside, crunchy on the outside, armadillos. <laughs> um, no, that's not right. Um, and MVP is saying that he can send you a bottle of Snickers. I would be, yes, thank you very Snickers. much. That would be much appreciated. Contact us after the show and I'll, um, I'll send us a PM on the forum and I'll be glad to have a chat with you. And Gary Woods confirming they're using the same juice, the same flavoured juice. Yeah. Uh, the same mods and both right. using dids. Mm -hmm. His is not glooping up anywhere near really? as much. That's Gary. Gary, are you coming to the knees, mate? We'll have a look at them. Yeah, definitely. I tell you what, this knees mate is going to be an amazing one to get to because he's come to the knees mate. Excellent Good, Gary. Stuff, I'll be looking forward stuff. to having a chat with you. All, all of the expertise. Seriously, if you if you're a, a beginner or a intermediate or whatever, if you, if you, if there's anything you want to know, come to the knees mate because there's going to be people there that have got experience you would not believe. It's going to be amazing. People are going to teach me how to drip properly and wind coils, and it's going to, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. But can you believe this? Grumpy Vapor will be there in spirit. <laughs> you drink in rum that night. <laughs> Jeff Benyon says Gary sucks less than his other half. Question mark. Stuart, how many are we expecting? I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to see three figures and more. Uh, I'm, I'm eating Cerulean C, Lorian. Mm. she's thinking about coming up so there's going to be loads there but I'm here to tell you we've got to the end of the hour the end of the hour Good already yeah. you me. already and that's even with the chunk of material chopped out yes, there with the it's yard. amazing how quick this hour goes ladies and gentlemen I keep saying this every week but I want to say a great big thank you to all 144 of you that are online at the minute for coming and sharing an hour with we three nuggets well this big nugget and the two sensible forks. Well, actually, two nuggets and a sensible fork. I thought you would change that. Yeah, it has to be. Um, thank you for sharing your hour with us and, and thank you for giving us the privilege of sharing an hour with you. It has been a delight and a pleasure to share this time with you two gentlemen. And Kat, who is there? I can see her face. She's smiling, nearly. Hi, Kat. <laughs> she is smiling, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been a delight and a pleasure as it always is to share the hour with you we'll see you next week don't forget to tune in on sunday night for dave kitson's dave's tackle box where there'll be all kinds of stuff to be talked about monday night i'm i'm sure there's something special coming up i know what it is because gary announced it last week i can't wait for that that's going to be brilliant tin your tip is a show that if you're even remotely interested in modern you need to come and watch tuesday night Marco at 9 till 9.30 and then at quarter to 10 for 45 minutes this week, the German version of VT Talk, which I'm really looking forward to. I don't understand a word they say other than my name. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by the German word for can. And if you know what the German word for can is, make sure you spell it correctly when you put it into chat and you'll understand why my ears pricked a few times on Tuesday and I'd gone. And then VT Talk will be back on Wednesday. But until we see you next week, from all of us here, <laughs> thanks for joining us. And we'll see <laughs> you nice. next time. Take care. Bye -bye. Night night. Bye bye. bye.
Safe as Eggs. Sponsors of the Haze Hour.